We are importing poverty, terrorism, dependence, and Democrat voters. Everybody that's coming across that border is coming in one of those categories. And the number is actually shocking. No one can really estimate the millions that have come in. Some say six million, some seven, some eight million. Well, it probably is closer to eight million when you consider all the gotaways that we really can't even estimate. And they can't give us straight numbers on that. Who knows how many gotaways we have in this country. But to put that in perspective, that is more people that have entered under the Biden administration than the individual populations of 38 U.S. states. If you couldn't guess, it's campaign season again, and Republicans, including Fox News ghoul Tommy Lahren, are suddenly talking about white replacement theory. And Lahren wants you to know that the same migrant caravans she warned about for years are back, and they're scarier than ever. That's about 13 Wyomings that we've let in to this country. How are we going to pay for these people? How is these people feed these people? I'm not sure, but I'm guessing as long as they mail in a vote Democrat in a few years' time, I'm sure Joe Biden and Powell's and probably Kamala Harris, they're A-OK with that plan. Now, ignoring for a second that Tommy Lahren briefly forgot Vice President Kamala Harris's name, it's pretty clear Lahren has never been to an asylum processing hearing anywhere near the southern border. Otherwise, she'd know that most of the people crossing are families, and they can't actually vote. But Laren isn't alone in her quest to turn migrant families into terrifying symbols of foreign invasion. Over on the Fox News primetime beat, Sean Hannity had a message for his audience. The next September 11th terrorist attack is just around the corner, and Sean has a pretty good idea who he wants to blame. I'll tell you right now, the next 9-11 is almost certainly being plotted and planned from inside our country Thank you, Joe Biden. Yeah, all those migrant families sitting in school gyms waiting for their asylum hearings are also secretly plotting America's next big terrorist attack. And Sean Hannity would definitely know. He spends a lot of time texting with people involved in America's last terrorist attack. The reality is, America is facing an immigration crisis. Nearly 100,000 migrants have shown up in New York City in the past year. Over 60,000 have arrived in Chicago, straining city resources and posing huge logistical challenges for lawmakers. America's ongoing efforts to feed, house, and support the wave of migrants appearing on our border deserves a real conversation. Unfortunately, nobody in the GOP is actually interested in talking about immigration reform, or even addressing the root causes of migration in the first place. Federal programs already exist to speed up the asylum process, which would shave months off many asylum seekers' current waits. Congress could also pass a short-term extension of temporary protected status, which would allow many of these migrants to work while they await a final decision on their asylum claim. Both of those ideas have varying levels of bipartisan support, but you won't hear any of that from the GOP's loudest voices, because another insurrectionist, Josh Hawley, is already amplifying Sean Hannity's dangerous talk of immigrant terrorists. Do you, do you have any doubt in your heart or mind, because I have none, that in fact among the 8 million, maybe 10 million by the end of this year, of these illegal immigrants, that people that have terror ties are in this country plotting, planning, scheming another 9-11 or worse? No doubt whatsoever. We know, Sean, that there have been almost 170 people on the terrorist watch list just this last year who we've apprehended. Now, think about all the people who've got away. 170, an all-time record that's who we know about. Okay, I don't mean to imply Josh Hawley is lying here, so I'll just come out and say that Josh Hawley is lying here. In fact, the vast majority of those who triggered a terrorist watch list alert did so because they had similar names to real terrorists, not because the migrants were themselves terrorists. Those stops also include people who may be related to individuals on the terror watch list, a combined 0.01% of all border crossings. And even though Joe Biden has proposed additional funding for border security, that still isn't enough for Republicans like Senator Ted Cruz. What they've asked for is nothing to actually secure the border. They want more money to expedite illegal immigration, to have more buses, more planes and fly even more illegal aliens to New York and D.C. and Chicago. That ain't going anywhere. I could imagine some sort of deal flying in the House and Senate that had some military assistance for Ukraine combined with real policy changes to secure the border and in particular ending catch and release. And the question is, do the Democrats want to fund the Ukraine war effort enough 
that they're willing to finally do something about the open border. I, I don't know the answer. Okay, this was literally one of the proposals Biden put forward. But in case you forgot, that was during a week when Ted Cruz wasn't actually in his office. So it's not surprising he missed those meetings. It's pretty clear that Republicans are talking to themselves on immigration, regardless of what Democrats or anyone else has to say. As we enter another heated campaign cycle, America's most marginalized migrants find themselves once again caught in the GOP's crosshairs. Republicans have been clear they don't want real solutions. Next year, the American people have the power to demand better from our elected leaders. And if you thought that was wild, check out this video. Jesus is my savior, Trump is my president. What does that mean to you? Jesus died on a cross to forgive us for all our sins. And as always, leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.